So we're about a week into our gaming project uh, with the science idea and the kids have been spending a few days really working hard on the games and Lisa finally got a chance to see some of the games. Yes, and what was did. your impression of? They're really cool and some of them are very intricate and I got a chance to play some of them and it was interesting because the kids were watching me play video games and I'm not a video gamer so they kind of had a laugh but very intricate details and designs in their gaming projects. I was very impressed with the time they're putting in. Can you tell about the science elements within the game? Well, that's one of the things that we've been struggling with is how to make sure that their understanding of the geology is being reflected in their game process. Yeah, and I think they're struggling a little bit as to how to put it into the game. Some of them are trying to build volcanoes with the blocks or, you know, and, and build components of the earth. Uh, and where to put in their facts, I think, is, is they're struggling with a little bit too, whether it's in their intro or some of the blocks that they hit in the game itself. Yeah, and we've also been struggling with how to assess this project, too, since it's fairly new for us. Um, and we've worked a lot of writing into the project, but uh, we're trying to balance out the science part, too. And so uh, we have a checklist sheet that, gonna be, that we're going to be looking at mm -hmm. as we play their games over holiday break and uh, make sure they were uh, meeting our expectations, too. Yeah. I think one of the things that we've struggled with in relation to this project is the best way to really assess the kind of student work that we're looking for the end of this game design project. Um, and we've been trying to be very clear about our expectations of students all along around designing a video game that incorporates science concepts in a story narrative form that moves a player through various levels of a game. Um, and so as we were thinking about when they're done, how are we going to grade this? Um, you know, I look to the internet for help and really there's not a lot out there right now around how to assess a student video game project. So the solution that we came up with um, is to have a checklist of the things that we've been talking about just about every day for two weeks in class, uh, the things that should be focusing students on. So do they have a scientific concept built into the game uh, that uses scientific vocabulary and also is accurate scientific information? Do they have a story narrative frame that the player kind of buys into as they kind of move through the levels of the game? Are they using good English mechanics around spelling, punctuation, uh, which we've talked about as being very important when you publish to a real audience? Uh, we talked about uh, the checklist including game design elements, so things like the colors being used, the kind of sprites that you would use, um, the audio uh, music that you pick, all these kind of things leading to the game experience. Uh, and then also the kind of overall effort that goes into it. And I have to say that uh, we've been extremely pleased with the kind of effort that we've seen across all four classes around students working on this project. I don't think I've seen anyone slacking on it, uh, working really hard. Um, they want to be proud of the, f of the final project, project that they're doing. And I think we're starting to see that in some of the games that are finally being published to the GameStar site.